What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. It's been a year since I prepared a quiz on collocations, and I think it's time to make a new one. If you missed the first edition, you can find the link in the description box and also the pop-up card right here. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's kick off! Yeah. Before we start, just a few things. The first one, what is a collocation? It's a combination of words that are often used together. For example, heavy rain, a tight schedule, or to make a slip. And secondly, today's quiz will be comprised of two parts. First, I'm going to give you 10 sentences with different options. You're going to choose the correct one. And then in the second part of the video, I'm going to give you the correct answers. Are you ready? If so, break a leg. So let's get started. The first sentence, this coke really a quenched my thirst or b satisfied my thirst. Choose a or b and write it down. Very important. Don't skip it. Number two, you look tired. You should a take some rest or b get some rest. A or B? What do you think? And now let's move on to the third sentence. I want to save A hard next year or B heavily next year. Choose the correct answer. Number four, she started to invest A heavily or B hard. Pick out the correct answer. Number five, he's making A wide B long or C great efforts to hit the deadline. By the way, to hit a deadline or to meet a deadline is also a collocation that means to finish something on time. Number six, I'm A fully asleep or B fast asleep. It means to be completely asleep. Choose A or B and write it down. Number seven, I'm A wide awake, B fast awake, or C openly awake. It means to be fully awake. Choose the correct option. Number eight, I have a, a weak memory, B poor memory, or C light memory, or phone numbers. True story. Choose the correct option. Two more to go. Number nine, he A put the trap, B fixed the trap, or C set the trap and I fell into it. Once again, choose A, B or C. And last but not least, number 10, face masks are a common a sight, B vision, or C view nowadays. So for the last time, choose A, B, or C. And now let's move on to the second part of today's quiz, in which I'm gonna give you the correct answers and you're going to find out your score. So for each correct answer, you get one point. Number one, the correct answer is A, quenched. The collocation is to quench your thirst, but it's to satisfy your hunger. And to quench your thirst can be also used metaphorically. For example, to quench your thirst for knowledge. So if you've got A in this sentence, one point for you. Let's move on to the second sentence. The correct answer is B, to get some rest. It's not correct to say to take some rest. You should get some rest. But it's also correct to say to have a rest or to have some rest. So if it's correct, put a tick 
And one more point for you. Number three, the correct answer is A, hard. To save hard. Are you saving hard? If it's correct, put a tick and one more point. Number four, the correct option is A, heavily. So we save hard, but we invest heavily. Was it correct? Number five, the correct answer is C, great. The collocation is to make a great effort. But there are other options. We can also say to make a big effort, also huge or enormous. So once again, if it's correct, don't forget to add one point. Number six, the correct answer is B, fast to be fast asleep. We can also say to be sound or deeply asleep. And we can also say to fall into a deep sleep. Number seven, the correct answer is A, to be wide awake, which means to be fully awake. Number eight, the correct answer is B, poor to have a poor memory for something, for example, for faces or names. Number nine, the correct answer is C, to set. The collocation is to set a trap. Was it correct? Number 10, the correct answer is A, sight, to be a common sight. It means that you can see something frequently. So if it's correct, don't forget to put a tick and please add up all the points to find out your score. So guys, how do you go? How many points did you get in this collocation quiz? I hope it wasn't too easy. Please share your score with me in the comments below. And guys, before we finish, I've got a bonus sentence for you. And it's, I write a A rough draft b dirty or c approximate draft before i copy it neatly into my notebook so choose the correct option a b or c you can share it with me in the comments below and i'm gonna give you the correct answer in our next lesson and guys if you enjoyed this quiz and missed the first edition you can check it out right here. And please, if you learned something new and enjoyed today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. Thank you for watching this lesson up to the very end and see you next Sunday. Ciao for now!